My father is a very pragmatic and a very creative teacher. He would extract life lessons from all the most weird places. On one occasion, he called our attention, myself together with my siblings, to a glass of milk. And on close observation of the glass of milk, there was uh, flies that were around, specifically somewhere on the rim of the glass, and the initially one or two within the milk. Flies that were on the rim of the glass seem to imagine that they are drowning or dead fellows below were having such a mighty fun time and that's the reason they were not able to come back and in a bid to have a piece of the fun they would leave the safe haven of the rim of the glass and make it to the dead end of the promised sea of white below one my look as a mundane story tucked somewhere in my past is actually real and probably more real and more applicable in your life and in my life today. Imagine how many times you have made decisions that moved you from a place and a locus of safety and prosperity and one that was more in synchrony with your purpose in life and made it all the way across to a whole new place, a whole new life outlook, which proved to be disastrous, if not retarding your progress. All because you imagined that the prospects that lay on the other side were better than where you are. To put it in everyday English, we say it, the grass on the other side seems greener. The book lays out four important things to be able to consider. Question number one, what is the grass growing on? That's called the question of foundation. Question number two, the question of effort, which simply asks, have I done the best and the most I can with my patch of grass? whatever that grass represents. Question number three is a question of artificiality, which asks, is that grass real or fake grass? And fourth and finally is ask yourself the question, when it is all said and done, what do I want to be remembered? What do I want to leave behind? These four questions, this book, handles and tackles in depth, drawing from the examples of both contemporary and people gone by who've been able to experience various challenges directly related to the attractiveness of the greenness of the grass on the other side of the hill. In this will be laid gems that will be able to help you, like flies on the glass of milk, so it is with our lives. But before we drown unnecessarily, won't you pause and pick a copy of When the Grass is Green on the Other Side?